Greetings and welcome to this Holy Thursday Communion Observance. You are invited to receive the bread and the cup in your own home, in your own fashion. Uh, you may want to pause the video for a moment to assemble the communion elements. Any forms of the bread and the cup will be fine. A rice cake or tortilla, some type of juice, that'll all be fine. And have those ready for when we reach that point in the service and I will lead you. Holy Week is the time when the church has remembered the story of Jesus' Last Supper with his disciples before his crucifixion. It recalls that Jesus was a servant to his friends. He demonstrated his hospitality and his love in the simple acts of washing their feet and then sharing the bread and the cup. This bread and cup represent, represents the gifts of Christ's own life on the cross. It demonstrates the kind of self-giving love that Christ intended. As we prepare to come to this table, we will think together about what it means to share the gift of this broken bread and to drink from the cup that Jesus drinks, to love even as he loved. It's a re-offering, a new offering of God's love and God's forgiveness here, now, in this place, in your place to you and to me. Let us pray. God, we gather in the growing darkness of this holy Thursday night. Our Lenten journey has brought us here. Jesus, our Rabbi and Lord, has brought us to this time and place. He sets before us a towel, a bowl, bread, and cup. He gives us the example and the commandment to love one another as he has loved us. As we remember the last meal he shared with his disciples, give us the courage to live as servants, to love the world as you have loved us, and to pour out our lives as members of the body of Christ. We dare humbly to join his disciples at his table of grace. Lord, help us. Amen. Whenever we come to the Lord's table, we do so with honest confession of our need for the grace and forgiveness that's being offered here. Like those first disciples, we too must come clean before God. Jesus got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. God, like Peter, it is hard to acknowledge that we need your cleansing, healing, washing. We deny, we resist the truth, we are then unwilling to kneel at the feet of our neighbor and our stranger. We prefer to be served than to serve. Forgive us. We want to be at your table, but want your gift too lightly. 
and to receive your grace too cheaply. Grant us the faith and courage to remember what your journey means and accept again the cost of discipleship. Amen. Hear these words of pardon. God washes our souls with love and grace. Surely he has borne all our infirmities and carried all our sorrows. Surely he was wounded for all our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that makes us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. Friends, believe the gospel. In Jesus Christ we are forgiven, and God's grace and healing is given to each one of us. Amen. We are invited now to the table that Jesus has set for us. With your communion elements prepared and ready, join me now in the great thanksgiving. On that last Thursday night of Jesus' life, he gathered with his disciples to eat what would turn out to be their last meal together before he died. They joined around a table and spoke of many things. There that night, Jesus spoke to them about love. He showed them by washing their feet how humbling love can be. He told them he had something for them to remember. This important commandment from Jesus was for his disciples to love one another as Jesus himself had loved them. Love one another, he said that night. On this night, we remember that Jesus gave us the example of humbling love. He came from heaven, emptying himself so that our joy might be full. He fed the hungry. He healed the sick. He ate with the scorned and the forgotten. He washed his disciples' feet, and he gave us this holy meal as a promise of his abiding presence. By the baptism of his suffering and death and resurrection, his church was born. And we have been delivered from slavery to sin and death and are made new. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread, gave thanks to God, and broke the bread, and gave it to those who were there with him around the table, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So I invite you now to take your bread and in remembrance break the bread that Christ died for you and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. And then after the supper he took the cup and when he had given thanks he gave it to them saying this is the cup of the new covenant, the new relationship to God in my blood shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so I invite you now to take your cup, the cup of life, poured out for you and for all, and be thankful.
Let us pray. Almighty God, ruler of the universe, we thank you for your mighty acts of deliverance. When you enable us to cross over from despair to hope, from brokenness to wholeness, from death to life. We thank you for the deep love of Jesus, which moved him to risk himself for the redemption of us all, and for the grace we experience in receiving these symbols of the life he gave. Make our lives worthy of this great love. Amen. So go now in peace. Jesus has set an example for us here to serve others as he served us, to love one another as he has loved us. May the peace of God and the love of Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit abide with you this Holy Thursday night through Good Friday, Holy Saturday to Easter morning. Amen.